Mr. Vitale, the pressure is on both teams in this third round tournament game between the Dayton Flyers and the Baylor Bears. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Bears are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for him tonight, Dick? Hey, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Second, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Lastly, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The shooting guard takes the pass from right in the circle. Martin drills the three. Both teams looking to get things going here. The shooting guard gets the pass. He fires from long range. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Working it around the perimeter. The fake. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Perfectly executed. There's the trap. The point guard with the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The point guard gets the ball. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Tinsley is emotionally pumped up. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. steal the pressure got to the ball handler awesome ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession they just can't seem to miss they found a serious stroke with their shooting Brad he launches the bomb drains it so we get another look Trying to feed inside. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. The power forward takes the feed. Fakes it. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Now they work it around the perimeter. They look to get it to the inside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Pressure's getting to him. Puts up the shot. Sinks the shot. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Up and inside. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. They get that rejected. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Takes away the pass. 
Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. They work the perimeter. Dumps it in. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Trying to go inside. Turns it over. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Off the rim and no good. And the ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from outside. Tickles the twine. Let's take a look at that last basket. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Both teams looking to get things going here. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. There's a double team waiting there. Dump it inside. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Great anticipation defensively. My goodness, players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. There he is, strips the ball loose. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Looking for a good shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. He attempts the trifecta. Gets it to fall. <laughs> Defensively down the low block, and there's a steal. Oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. I say they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Robs him with the ball. With a light steal attempt, the defense is looking to gain possession of the ball. You gotta be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Rod. 
If you miss, you could be in trouble. On the dribble, gives it up. That's a foul. Oh, by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? They will line him up. Gets his first. Second one, no good. Picks it out of the air. On the outside. Tries for two. He's money with the shot. This one deserves another look, Brad. Gave it up. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Number 50 fakes the shot. Nice fake. For two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. On the outside. Double team now, bad angle. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. And he'll kick it back outside. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Working it around the perimeter. There's a high screen. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Both teams are looking to get something going here. High post screen. You betcha. Frustration right there. He tries the three ball way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> the defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Thanks, Aaron. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Wilkinson in the paint. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Blocks the shot. Got the shot if he wants it. Puts it up. 
The Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Scores it, and he's fouled. So an and one opportunity here. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He says, Show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. The Bears go to the line for the first time in this game. He can't buy one. Gave it up. Kicks off the lazy pass. He shoots from left of the circle. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Ball goes out of bounds. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Great shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box, looking for contact. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He comes away with it. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, the crowd will be extremely happy. Entry pass in the paint. Makes the shot. The replay's not even enough for this one. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Baylor are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For two, do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Here's a flash from the high post. He bombs from outside. He gets the shot to fall. Too physical. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. 
I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. He intercepts it. The double team. He shoots from the top of the key. Scorches the net. Time to pick up the defense here now. For the bucket. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you could have a field day against these guys. Let's put a uniform on. Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. Pull up jumper from way out. Are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Shoots off the rim and no good. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice jam. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the outside. Gave it up. He's got a nice shot fake from the baseline. Gets it to go. Like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There they come with a double team to stop it. Gets it back out. Jones comes up with it. Shot clock is dead. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Goes up for two. Oh, yes. Looking for a good shot. Goes for the deep one. Drains the shot. At the half, the Bears are up by seven. We've had a tooth and nail battle so far, Dick. What was the play of the half, do you think? Check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Baylor displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Second half of play, Dick. NCAA tournament game doesn't get much bigger than this, but of course it's going to be even bigger for the team that comes out on top when it's all over. Why is that a shame, Brad? Because both these clubs are playing so well. They're such quality teams, but it's going to come down at the end. I think you better be able to convert on that free throw line, and you've got to get some easy baskets. I think every basket has been a struggle offensively. they got to find a way to get some conversions in transition. From way outside. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. It's stolen.
That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He's a high riser. Sensational, baby. The shooting guard handles the pass. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Picks off the pass. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Dayton have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. He comes away with it. Here they come now on a turnover. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Picked out of the air. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He launches the bomb. It sticks. He intercepts it. Nice shot fake. Launches away. He buries it. That's 11 unanswered. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Lee handles the feed. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. Open. That's a special work, feeding the post. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Jones draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. They scored 14 in a row. Both free throws go. That's a 15-0 run. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. That's a 17-0 run. They 
go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. With the fake. Good fake. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. There's a double team waiting there. Take it away. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Look at that spacing. We'll take the shot. Way off target. Dump it inside. There's the trap. For the deuce. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Picks off the lazy pass. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. He pump fakes. Blake receives the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Dayton is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. And he scores despite the hack. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He pump fakes. He lets it go. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots kill chemistry, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Hawkins receives the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Here's a double team. He tries the three ball. He gets it to go. On the outside. The small forward with the ball. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. For two, up and in.
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They'll work it around the arc. Kicks it out. He shoots from right of the circle. He hits it. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Gave it up. Fake. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. On the outside, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work it around the perimeter. The center takes the feed. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Steals the pass. There's the pick. There's the roll. Jones pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes his first. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. The center takes the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to fall. A whistle and a foul. And coach not happy in the sideline. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brian, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Unloads. Is there enough in the tank for a comeback here, Dick? Stranger things have happened, Mr. Nestle, but time's winding down. The shooting guard gets the ball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Jumps into the defender. The land. The Flyers are up by 21. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Up fake. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. And he'll kick it back outside. Had a momentary look from three-point land. 
He gets it to go. Top of the circle. He hits the shot. The Flyers are ahead by 19. He goes for the trifecta. The Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. The shooting guard gets the pass. He drains the shot. He strokes it. Not there. Strips the ball. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jumped in front to take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. Let's it fly. He gets it to fall. Great defense. And the ball goes out of bounds. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Takes away the pass. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. He'll kick it back outside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach. He blocks the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Set that screen away. Takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. Puts up the shot. He nails the bucket. We need an instant replay for this one. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Puts up the tray. Way off target. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? That's it, Brad. Guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Gets the second shot. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
Kicks it out. From downtown. Off the rim and no good. For three. And he misses the shot. He gets the rejection. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Inside and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Here's a block from behind. My man was on him. Had his shot block. Hey, we've seen some great block shots. Teammates love it. They applaud. With the fake. The ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Pulls the trigger. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Takes the shot off the baseline. Baylor have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Trying to draw the foul. Up, easy one. Time out on the floor. They'll talk things over. Surprised that they changed things up a little bit, Brad. He tries to knock down the three. He gets that one to fall. Double team now, bad angle. Working it around the perimeter. Picked off. They work the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got him at their mercy with the threes, Brad. Mr. Vital, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get closer to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Blake is trying to pump up the crowd. Hey, Brad, I think he wants the crowd backing him up on his next possession. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Rims out. Picked out of the air. The ball goes out of play. There's the turnover situation for the hand kick. I tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. 
Nick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But you know, you got to win it. Keep on going to get that final Monday night paper. Well, I'll tell you, win this game, Brown, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Dayton makes it three in a row with an impressive third round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with entering the Elite Eight. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.